Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look at Ethereum and at the end into the DXY and Nasdaq and because we have one specific coin that is pumping like crazy, yes you know it's Dogecoin, we're gonna analyze that as well. So let's start here with the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. We had here the breakout to the downside from this rising wedge and for now we bounced here exactly at this Fibonacci retracement here at $53,000. So we got here a nice bounce to the upside with a nice buy signal here in the four hour time frame. And if we crack it down into the one hour, you can see that also here we had a bullish divergence. We had a lower low and a higher low in the RSI. So that means that we have here a confirmed bullish divergence and this is already playing out. The only problem is that we are still in this downtrend and still in this progress of this fall potentially down even to $47,000. That would be in theory the target for this uh, rising wedge breakout. But of course on the way to the downside we're gonna see some bounces and if we are able to go back in an uptrend in the four hour time frame and also in the daily time frame then I think the move could be already over and we are heading higher but since we are still in this downtrend we still have to wait and see what will happen here once we are again attacking here the EMA ribbons and of course the 20 moving average here in the four hour time frame which is currently at $56,300. So in my own indicator, we got here a buy signal in the four hour time frame. Everything is pointing out that we could see a nice push towards 56 to 57 thousand dollars here in the short term but keep in mind that the RSI here is still below the 50 level so as long as we are below the EMAs and below the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame there is a very high chance that we could get rejected here at the 50 level and continue to drop lower so in the lower time frames there are some bullish signs that we could get a breather here but if we are not able to close again four hour candles at least above 56,300 dollars I'm pretty confident and that latest here we are getting again rejected and we most likely gonna fall again towards our support here of $53,000 and if this one is getting lost watch out for this potential bounce area here right at this Fibonacci retracement level of $51,000 and if this one wouldn't hold then we would have the complete retracement back down here right at $47,000 the potential target of this breakout from this uh, rising wedge. So even though we are getting now this nice breather to the upside, we still have to close four hour candles above this $56,300 in order to have the chance to push higher again. But if here we are getting rejected and we are not able to close four hour candles above these important moving averages, I'm pretty confident that here we're gonna fall towards $51,000 and then potentially also go and retest $47,000. So watch out here for the short term if you are in a long trade here on Bybit or Femex. Currently I am not in a position, I'm still waiting a bit on the sideline because if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we got a close below the 20 moving average and also below the EMA ribbons. So the daily time frame could be back in a downtrend here if today we're gonna close below this important EMA ribbons right here at 56 thousand dollars so if today we're gonna confirm this EMA ribbon as a resistance and cannot close above it then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see follow through to the downside potentially to retest $51,000 in the worst case scenario even down towards 47,000 and maybe also create here a big W pattern that of course could be very bullish here for Bitcoin for the mid to long term here and we definitely then gonna see new all-time highs very very soon if we are successfully creating here a potential double bottom formation in the daily time frame. So even though we could still fall down towards $51,000, in the worst case scenario down to $47,000 where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up and finally test this important moving average, we could create a nice bullish pattern and then of course uh, the show would be back into Bitcoin and then we definitely gonna see new all-time highs here pretty soon. So here short term there is still a high chance at first we could get rejected here and continue to go low we also got here a confirmed sell signal in the daily time frame and also you can see that the RSI now is again below the 50 level so we are still
still in danger here for the Bitcoin price in the daily time frame. So let's see if here in the lower time frames we are able to go back in an uptrend that of course could indicate that also here in the daily time frame we could recover pretty easy here. But even if we would get rejected here and create here a double bottom formation that of course would be very bullish and then hopefully we are then also able again to push above the Keltner channels that still is resistance here in the daily time frame. So right now we bounced right off the bottom of the Keltner channels which of course is also bullish. The problem here is also that right now the median line is giving us some resistance here right where the EMA ribbons are. So that's why if we are able to close daily candles again $56,000 then we could see follow through to the upside and attack again the Keltner channel here right at $59,000 otherwise I'm pretty confident that we could see one more last leg down towards $51 to $47,000 before we definitely bottom out. We also got a bearish cross in the stochastic RSI so here we would have a lot of room left to the downside if we are getting rejected here at 56 k so for Bitcoin, I still think that we have some room left to the downside here before we definitely got the bottom out and also create a nice bullish pattern that could bring us way above this all time high that we had currently here at around 65,000. And of course another very bullish thing is that right now we have the 20 weekly moving average right here at $47,000 the potential target here for this rising wedge breakout and if we finally are testing this moving average and have a nice bounce from it then I think this would be an ultimate good buy and long opportunity for Bitcoin. That's why I'm waiting still here a bit on the sideline as soon as we have some confirmations and here maybe one less leg down towards 51 to 47k I definitely gonna start to open up then long positions here at $47,000 if we're getting a nice bounce here at the 20 weekly moving average so if you're buying here at $47,000 or you're opening up some nice longs here on Bybit and Femex with low leverage you can easily keep alive your trade and your buys even down towards the bottom of the EMA ribbon here in the weekly which is at around $33,000 and remember that here in the monthly time frame we have the nine monthly moving average at $36,000 so if you are starting to DCA into Bitcoin between $47,000 to $36,000 if we would fall that low you would have bought the absolute bottom during this bull run in my opinion because we are still far away from a cycle top here for Bitcoin and any kind of bigger correction down towards a 20 weekly moving average or towards a nine monthly moving average you should take it as a very good long and buy opportunity for the long term because we are still far away from a cycle top and Bitcoin has still a lot of room to the upside also keep in mind that right now at those price levels we are perfectly on track with the stock to flow price model which is predicting prices way above 100k towards the end of this year so we are perfectly still on track here at those price levels so if we would drop below 50k this in my opinion could be really one of the last opportunities to buy bitcoin sub 50k so there is a very high chance that for Bitcoin the bottom could be very soon in and we're gonna see also here big explosive moves to the upside but based on the four hour and daily time frame I still think that we could still see some continuations down towards 51 to 47k before we definitely gonna bottom out and continue to push higher. And now let's have a look also into Ethereum because as you can see yesterday we touched exactly here the next Fibonacci extension level of $3,520. For now we got rejected here but as you can see we just came back down towards the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame and we are bouncing from it. So Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish. In the 4 hour time frame we are getting right now also a buy signal and we are still above the 50 level in the RSI. So everything is still extremely bullish here for Ethereum and the next potential resistance point could be up here at the 3.618. Fibonacci extension level at around $4,050. So I'm pretty confident that we could reach this price level within a couple of days, especially if here we are starting to close four hour candles above $3,500. And also if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that even though we had yesterday a little pullback, we didn't even come down to test the nine daily moving average at $3,000. So of course Ethereum is looking a bit overbought and exhausted here. If we 
were able to push above $3,500 in the daily time frame, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna shoot straight up here towards $4,050. But be aware that we are extremely overbought in the daily time frame, and also here a sell signal is flashing right now. So that means that we could see a potential drop at least down to the nine daily moving average here at $3,000. And in the worst case scenario, we could come down to test the 20 daily moving average, which currently is here at $2,000. $650. So based on my indicator, the chance is very high that in the next coming days we are coming down to test those important moving averages before maybe we had higher because we are extremely overbought here. And even if we would see such a retracement and a test down to these important moving averages, we will still remain on our uptrend. And that doesn't mean that this is the cycle top for Ethereum. In the opposite, if we're gonna cool off here all the indicators and test those important moving averages, I think then we're gonna have confirmation that we are still in our uptrend and then we should look forward also here for new all time highs very, very soon, especially as long as the Bitcoin dominance is dropping like we're seeing right now, the altcoins will perform very, very well even against Bitcoin since we are dropping below the 50 level in the Bitcoin dominance. And you can see the last time that this happened was in 2017. Here we came down to the 35% level. So there's a very high chance that we could repeat something similar like in 2017, that we could even crash down towards 35%. But I think that also here at around 45%, we could see a little breather to the upside. But if we're gonna drop below 45%, I'm pretty sure we're gonna also fall down towards 35%, similar like we had in 2017 and afterwards. Bitcoin could start again to outperform all altcoins. But until then, we're gonna see big fireworks in the altcoins and at least for now, they will outperform Bitcoin. And a very good example is right now Dogecoin. So let's have a look into Dogecoin because we are still creating new all-time highs day by day. So here you can see the Dogecoin chart in the daily time frame. And uh, yes, we are going completely parabolic here and no one can tell you where is the target here. So it's very hard to do some TA for a coin that was worth less than a penny for several years. And now suddenly it's starting to pump out of nothing. So the only thing that I can tell you here, my friends, is that on the way to the upside, as you can see, Dogecoin always corrected back down to the bottom of the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame. And as soon as we touch the bottom, we always have seen big pumps to the upside. So if you want to invest in Dogecoin, if you want to play this game, then wait until we are again in consolidation and we are testing again the bottom of the EMA ribbons, which currently are down here at around 25 cents. And then buy some if you think that Dogecoin could reach $1 or maybe even higher levels because there is a big Dogecoin mania going on and everyone knows that Dogecoin is a meme coin and that's why the most of the people own also this coin. I also did last summer a funny joke video about Dogecoin, how to buy Dogecoin and getting rich because the mania started already last summer and this video at the beginning had almost no views and right now it's one of my best videos that I have in terms of views. So only based on this video, I can tell you that right now we have euphoria going on for Dogecoin because that video was more like a joke. I bought here on Binance some Dogecoin. By the way, the link to Binance is down here in the description if you want to open up a Binance account where you can buy all kind of altcoins. And now the people are taking this video as a serious thing. So I just want to remind you that Dogecoin is a meme coin and also be aware that most of those coins are held by single addresses. So if one of those whales gonna dump on you, you're gonna see your portfolio decreasing by a lot here. You can read everywhere that Dogecoin is just a meme coin and there are also some big warning signs. For example, that 27% of all Dogecoin is held by a single address. And there are also some other top addresses that have more than 20% of all the supply of Dogecoin. So that is another thing that should concern you if you're betting the farm into Dogecoin. So I just want to remind you, my friends, that this is a big meme coin. And of course, right now you can do some nice gains with it, especially when we are 
pumping like crazy but for the long term I definitely wouldn't recommend you to hold Dogecoin for the long term. If you want to play a bit casino then yes go ahead and buy some Dogecoin wait here for a retracement back down to the bottom of the EMA ribbons and then buy some Dogecoin but at the end in the long term the goal is still to accumulate more Bitcoin my friend. So if you're having huge gains here with Dogecoin make always sure to lock in some profits into Bitcoin. So even though I don't recommend to buy Dogecoin right now I still think that we have a lot of room left to the upside because money flow is still increasing here and I think we could reach targets here way above one dollar because we can also do here a Fibonacci extension measurement from this last top that we had here at uh, almost the nine cents down to the bottom here of less than one cent and you can see that this gives us a Fibonacci extension level here the 1.618 at 43 cents this is exactly where we had some resistance here before we broke out here so here you can see that this target was met we had this correction we can also do another Fibonacci extension measurement from this move that we had because this would bring us here a Fibonacci extension measurement of 0.82 dollars so it's very likely that we are about to reach the 80 cents level and if we are also able to break above this potential resistance then I think it's very likely that we are not only going towards one dollar but maybe also towards two dollars or maybe even five dollars since this Dogecoin mania right now is unstoppable so it's a big casino game here my friends if you want to take this train then go ahead open up a Binance account and buy some Dogecoin but sooner or later this thing will collapse and come eventually down towards the price levels that we were in here in the last couple of years. So I think the run here is by far not over especially as long as Bitcoin is going sideways or higher. But keep in mind that those kind of coins during a bear market are the first one that are coming back down to the value that they had before these parabolic moves. So if you're sitting here in huge profits make always sure to take it out into some nice Bitcoin on the way to the upside. So let me know in the comment section my friends do you hold some Dogecoin or not? Let me know if you are also in this Dogecoin mania or not. I'm still holding those Dogecoins that I bought here in the live stream on Twitch. So if Dogecoin would reach one dollar I definitely gonna convert it back into Bitcoin but for now I'm not touching them because it's just funny to see how my Dogecoin portfolio is rising up by value day by day. And now let's have a final look also into the DXY and NASDAQ. We're gonna start here with the DXY because we had yesterday this nice push here above the 100 daily moving average at $91. But so far we are still getting rejected here by the EMA ribbons and the 20 daily moving average. So even though we had here an attempt to push higher, we maybe even could reach here the 200 daily moving average at $92. I still remain here bearish for the DXY and expect continuation to the downside. We also have the RSI still below the 50 level. So as long as we are here below the 50 and of course below the the EMA ribbons there is nothing to worry about here and we should expect the DXY to continue to go lower and that would be of course very in favor for the crypto and stock market and talking about stock market let's go over to Nasdaq because Nasdaq yesterday plunged even below the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame we got supported by the 50 daily so let's hope that here we are able to push again into this ascending triangle because if we're going to confirm this resistance here currently at around $13,800 the chance is very high that here we're going to roll over and potentially come down to test $13,000 again. So if Nasdaq would fail here to recover back up this could be also a warning sign for the crypto space that the correction is not over yet and we're gonna head lower potentially down towards 51 to 47 thousand dollars for the Bitcoin price. So let's keep an eye on also here on Nasdaq what is going on here because this breakout to the downside I really don't like that much especially after the DXY is still struggling here to push higher. 
we should now also see Nasdaq pushing higher and create new all time highs. So this dump that we have seen here out of this ascending triangle is a bit concerning in my opinion. So let's keep an eye what is going on here in the next coming days. Hopefully we can recover again above $13,800. Otherwise, if we continue to fall here, that could be also a warning sign here for Bitcoin. All right, my friends, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and check out all my referral links here in the description. If you sign up to Bybit, Femex, Binance and so on with my referrals, you will get some extra money and some bonus. So definitely check them out if you still need an account over there. And a big shout out to Bitscap. They are offering the pro plan for 14 days for our community. If if you're interested in a platform where you can run trading bots on your exchanges and of course also do arbitrage then check out Bitscap. the link is also here in the description to get this 14 days completely for free you can then easily just connect your exchanges to this platform and then you can take advantage of those trading bots I also did a tutorial how this is working I am running those bots for almost 20 days now and for me it's very profitable. So check out Bitscap once you are in profits after 14 days then you can also convert into the monthly plans which is starting by only $19 a month. So you should get the money very easily and quickly back during a month if you subscribe then to Bitscap. And another shout out goes of course also to our crypto trading chat here on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, make sure to use the invitation link that you find also here in the description. Once you have clicked on that, go here to read first and click on the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And this is also the place where you can get access to my indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. If you're interested, just send me a private message here because a small donation is needed. Otherwise, just get a YouTube membership and contact me also over on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye!